Today I will tell you the Dark Horse Cursed movie that I bought. In the store the old lady gave me the original The Mask movie R-rate movie and so, I go home and then, the strange part was that Stanley buys his girlfriend a mask and then, those guys destroyed Stan Ailey's car and he said with a violent word You fuck pile of assholes I just washed this car. Ah, it's my own fault. I should never take this baby out after it rains. Still, those guys don't own the streets. I guess courtesy isn't on their agenda. And then, they beat up Stanley with a violent way and then, he did punch him and the leader biker said with a funny and worst way. Aha! Just I suspected. I imagine you think before slander the butcher again. Perhaps even thrice! <laughs> And then he walk in the street and he was depressed ans then the max speaks up and he said so what are you waiting for let's go some way some nazi wow i must be really upset better get a grip and then stanley goes to his girlfriend's apartment to apologize and then he tells her that he got a gift and kathy said you know stanley you can't solve all our problems with a gift i'm a little more complex than that what kind of present? And then, Kathy dragged Stanley to his mask collection and then, Kathy finds out something was not right with Stanley because he was not happy because he neglected her and she said, Stanley, don't say that. You know I really love you, but sometimes you make it so hard. These objects are you're so moody, always changing say, what happened to your face? Stanley just lied to about the beaten up part and then, the screen went to black and showed Stanley in the bathroom on the light and then the demonic mask from Africa smiles at Stanley tricking him to wear his mask. And so he transformed into Big Head also known as Big Head Killer from the comic and he goes outside to test his own power like a comic adaptation and it works and he said with his Freddy Krueger voice. See I knew I had amazing abilities. I must share with mankind use them to protect and serve others in need. But first. And then, the screen went to black and I saw Stanley Ipkiss creating his weapon on the person after he killed all the bikers and then, he tried to attempting to shoot Stanley in the back and Stanley's reaction is this and he said with his violent reaction voice. Now I got them. Hey that was easy. TTFM, and thanks for the beer. And then it caught back to Stanley listen to the news and then Kathy disturbed him and Stanley said Would you shut up the hell up? I'm trying to watch the news. Jeez. What did, did you just say? What did, did you just say to me? You heard me. You're damn right I heard you. A month ago you couldn't care less about the news. And you dressed like a human being. Instead of a piscotic boy scout. Alright. I've heard enough of those comments. What I do and how I dress is my business. Not when you're doing it in my house. You come over here and never get out of that damn chair, reading your stupid magazines. You fantasize more about guns and girls. You want me out of the chair? You got it. Now let me show you something. Stanley used his fist and beats up Kathy and hurting her so badly many and multiple times and after he beats up Kathy Stanley gets the mask and slams the door on Kathy and he transformed into Big Head but with fan made rebooted versions and the screen went to Yorkie's mufflers and I heard those guys talking shit about Stanley and they said Hugh, what in the hell you doing under that car? Just turn in the oil drain plug too tight to strip the threads and make this fella think he's strung a leak. Okay. I thought you were actually trying to fix it. No way. I leaned from my mistakes. I'll never forget your face when I replaced that fella's beat up old mother. Hey, them things cost money. Fortunately, I have a puncture history plans to make I throw the loss on. Cause now I've new seen big problem. When you hired to fix the small one, it's okay to fix the small one. Like that bald guy with a hot girlfriend, the one who came in to have his soft plugs replaced. But he didn't know his shit basket was cracked, he was back in less than an hour. Sucker. What was his name again? I kiss. He he he. Stanley I kiss. Ahem. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler. <coughs> After he killed the car fix the screen went to black and showed Mrs. Gazzo dropping in the floor and she said. Jimmy, please help me. I think, I think I've broken some. Ah, oh, shut up. 
you worry about the kid now Jimmy can you spell that me? I feel bad for Jimmy. He did not deserve to get tormented by Bughead Ipkiss. ANS then Bughead looked at the kid and he said, Oh well, that's enough for today wouldn't you say? Class dismissed single friggin' file, children. And the crime scene showed the dead bodies who are hanged to death by Ipkiss and a cop tells Kel away and he said, Well there's one of them and there's number two. The only witness said a weird looking guy with a big heck left here about two hoyers ago. Not him again. Who is this maniac? Why is doing this? Why'd he choose my town? Lieutenant. We got another call over at the school. Just great. Just fucking great a stupid big head. Ruining my job. And the screen went to Kathy and she finds out that Stanley wears the cursed that and she looks at THR sadistic mask and so, she did throw it away and it cut in the kitchen with Stanley asking the mask and he said, Say, baby we is the mask. You know Stan, you've changed a lot lately. Do you know where's the mask? A month ago you thought fair the term babe was stupid. Do you know where's the mask? I, I threw it out. What? Where is it? I gotta get it. How can you do this to me? Stan, look at yourself. Look how you're acting. You've changed so much. All those books, that weird list of names. The way you act, I don't feel I know you anymore. That mask EAS a present to me, but I didn't want it anymore oh, so I threw it out. Is that thing more important to me? And then... I feel Stanley if kiss he did not deserve to be abusive jerk ANS he deserved better but... He smiled Leak Norman Bate and he was going to watch TV after dinner and Kathy heard this and Stanley just laughed and said... Who who look at that picture? Now how do you suppose muffler down his throat? Aw oh, nuts, I forgot my quarter. That ass will be on me, 60 bucks. That's you T, you sick pig. Get out of my apartment, and out of my life. Hey. Not another word? Just get the hell out, now. Okay, if that's the way you feel. But just one thing, okay? Can I have the mask back? Yow. And the screen went to Stanley climbing the pipes on Kathy's windows and then, the windows damaged Stanley's back and he screamed and Kathy wakes up and called the cops and she said, Yes that's right. He's in the apartment now. Please, you've got to get over here immediately. I'm really scared. Look lady, chum, chum, oh, I'm only dispatcher, not a one-man police force. No, what did you say your address was? And then Stanley's spine back was damaged and he walks to finds the mask but... He was knocked by Kathy and he was dragged and Stanley saw the mask smiling at him and so... He wears it and he got jump scared me. Doesn't sound like a boyfriend. In fact, doesn't sound like a human at all. Oh yeah? Well, let's see. Just look. Take a look of this. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were the girl. Well, I joke this teacher's here to buy the whole business. Now that we're really trying to do in a situation like this, I know I hear somewhere. Who are you? Where's Stan? And what did you do to him? Why are you doing this? You forget? Why don't those tell you about me when he cracked me up? I'll keep you this. Excuse me, your officer. That's a fire you waste any more bullets. Why are you doing this? And then... He goes to drink beer but then a bald cop hits him and he fires him back and Big Head saw the cop and then all the cops goes upstairs and the disturbing part was their bodies exploded and Big Head dressed up as a cop and fire tricked three cops to fire him from disguise as Big Head and they are chasing him but then Big Head's right turned black and red and he said with a demonic voice That's it, Mister. Your finish. I am checking you out. Man, fire at will. And the scene revealed Big Head falling down and butt. 
He stands still and rides in the car and the cops told him to stop but Stanley used his grenade brutally destroying the car and Jerry had a look on his face and he said R.O. Stanley Hey, man, you were driving like a maniac Say, pal, what's your name? Mm, Jerry Listen Jerry, if you can't stand the heat, shut the fuck up Let's buy something and then find some target, okay? And the big head crash the market and buy cigarettes and the cops are chasing after him and Big Geed called Jerry a pussy and he shot the cops and landed on the car and then Big head looks at Jerry and showed his target and he said but, with a return demonic voice And the scene went to Kellaway and Lionel but, I know it was Doyle and never mind that. And Kellaway talks about how Stanley sneaked his way to his girlfriend's apartment and then, a cop told him that Big Head is running after a guy and so, he saw him and Big Head crashed his bones to death and Kellaway gets very mad about it and he told Lionel. Now when I say the word, I want you to sidesight that car into the post office. But Lieutenant, they're doing 90. What about the poor guy in the back? Just do it. Nice knowing you, Jerry. Look, I did what I had to do, okay? Let's head back and see how that bulletproof bastard looks worth a steering column through his chest. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Floor it, Lionel. Floor it. And so, Big Head used his axe to destroy the car and then, Kellaway tells Lionel to to be quick but, the car just get bumped by a police car and Kellaway's arm got hurt and then, Big Head used his flame gun to kill everybody and I he said, I know what you're thinking, where do I get all this good stuff, right? E -e 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 -e. Ah, this is a lie. I'm a music weapon, but no percussive enough. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> and the cops told Lionel and Kellaway that Stanley aka Big Head escapes and he escaped and shocks the cop in the eggplant leaving his eggplant destroyed. And the next scene that Big Head told Stanley to leave Edge City and so, he did listen to Big Head what he was saying is right and Stanley keeps on packing his own things and he said Yeah, there is no denying that. You know, I never liked the city much anyway. I'll be glad to get out of here. Sorry Stan, I think I'm staying after all. A girl I mean right to change her mind doesn't she? And after Kathy killed Stanley the credits rolled and showed the cast was Peter Green as Stanley Hipkiss and Cameron Diaz as Kathy Matthews and Bruce Campbell as Mitch Kellaway and Will Smith as Lionel Ray and the music played as Ben Drowned Music and the music stopped and it was, The The Mask. The item who looks at me and stared at my soul and he said with a sadistic demonic voice, If you're watching this, Chuck Russell's original The Mask movie was based on the original The Mask comics and if you want to enjoy me killing people non-stop, it must be you. You are next and I am gonna scare your soul and turn you into a psychopath what I have done to Stanley Ikes. After I just watch something darker, I go and see and it was the mask staring at my soul in the couch and I started running from Big Head and so, I go in a safe comfortable attic and so, I am writing this if you see that Big Head from this cursed film. Do not watch it or else it will make you a psychopath like Big Head had done to Stanley and Mom and Dad if you're watching this, I am gonna be gone goodbye. Yeah!